Hi there, I'm Simone. Welcome to my channel. Um, I wanted to go ahead and make this video because I put up a few hauls now and I really wanted to do a what I eat in a day video, but I'm having trouble with editing. <laughs> um, my computer just doesn't seem to be able to handle it, even like really, really light editing software. So I'm going to figure something out, but I wanted to go ahead and explain how I eat to just sort of go along with the haul so you can sort of like just get a sense of what my channel is going to be about and why I call it vegan healing. So um, I'm going to do a full video on my whole like vegan story um, in a few weeks. But for now, just know that I've been vegan for over two years. I've been plant based for six years and when I was plant-based I was all over the place so sometimes I would be totally vegan sometimes and like not eating any starch so I was just eating like fruits and vegetables mostly like greens very low calorie foods and losing a lot of weight but not being able to sustain it because I was hungry <laughs> and then going to the other extreme where I called myself plant-based but I was eating more like a paleo type thing where I was eating like a third of my calories from very high fat high protein foods like yeah, like I was trying to do like a third of my calories from protein, a third of my calories from fat, a third of my calories from non-starchy carbs. Like I, I was all over the place. <laughs> so I've been very up and down in my weight in the last six years, but overall I've lost over a hundred pounds. I say I don't have like a specific number because the highest weight that I ever saw was at the doctor's office and it was like 312 pounds <laughs> I never saw that at home the highest weight that I ever saw at home was like 280 something so I really don't know how much weight I've lost but um it's a lot of weight <laughs> and um it has it's been like really easy so I wanted to start this YouTube channel because besides losing a lot of weight I've also healed myself of pretty much every illness that was plaguing me, every kind of condition. Um, I don't struggle with the kinds of things that um, I just thought I was going to be dealing with for the rest of my life. I also, I also thought I was headed for really serious health issues like diabetes and heart disease and cancer. I thought that those things were inevitable for me because I was trying to lose weight, but it just wasn't working out for me. And I thought that if I lost weight, it would help me get rid of all those issues. Um, I even had something, I even, I was getting close to being diagnosed with an autoimmune disorder. So um, I went from being very seriously ill and on a path of being even more ill um, to like not having any issues except for some excess weight to lose, which is coming off very steadily. So the way that I eat now, I eat a mostly whole food plant-based diet. I try to stay away from oil, sugar, and salt, but I do still eat those things on occasion. Um, I, I do add salt to my food sometimes at home, but not usually like during the cooking process, usually just at the end. Um, and I don't really have oil around. The only kind of oil I have left is actually uh, toasted sesame oil, and I'm, I don't even know if I'm going to repurchase that after it's over. I love Korean food, and Korean food doesn't taste right without it, but um, I have made it without it, and it's tasted pretty good. It just tastes different, and I could get used to it in order to lose the rest of this weight, which is what I think I'm going to do. So I'm moving towards a completely oil-free home diet, and I don't really eat out as much anymore either, so I'm mostly cooking all my own meals. So um, when I say whole food plant-based, I'm totally vegan. I don't even eat honey. Um, I don't eat any animal products, and I've been that way for over two years, and that's the way I'm going to be for the rest of my life. Um, when it comes to being whole food plant-based, that is for my health um, and also for the environment. So I try to um, not use as much packaging. So I try to buy foods in their whole state and I try to buy foods in ways where I don't have a lot of plastic packaging. Um, so what does my everyday diet look like right now? Um, breakfast, I either have like a green smoothie um, or... What I do most often now is actually like a cereal bowl with like granola and frozen blueberries 
and I make my own um, nut milk with almond butter and water and then I add other things to it like flax seeds, uh, turmeric, ginger, and dates and maybe some like cacao powder and maca powder so like just superfoods and stuff. And I do those same things in my green smoothie. So in the green smoothie, I would just add like banana and blueberries, or I would do like a tropical type smoothie with like um, banana, mango, pineapple, and then some kind of green. Um, I also, so that's like breakfast. And I don't, I only eat like twice a day. So when I say breakfast, I usually have my first meal around 11 30, 12 p.m. I wake up around um 8 30 9 o'clock and I just fast in the morning so I do kind of do intermittent fasting and that's just naturally what I've gravitated towards I just don't like to eat early in the morning I like to leave a lot of time between my last meal and when I go to sleep because I don't sleep well if I'm still digesting food so <clears throat> yeah I eat about two meals a day um and for my second meal, I usually eat that around like four or five. So I eat like in a pretty small period of the day. And for my main meal, I eat like a lot. So I eat like a meal that's probably like over a thousand calories. I eat like a big bowl of like very starchy foods and like a lot of greens. So I'll do like, I don't know, like three or four big handfuls of greens, either like wilted into like a curry or a sauce that I eat with rice or I make like a burrito bowl so I'll do like rice beans like a lot of it <laughs> so I make my own black beans from scratch and um or not, not just black beans I make pinto beans white beans um what else chickpeas whatever and I I eat like probably half a quart of like cooked beans so that's a lot. <laughs> and then I have like probably a cup of dry rice. So it's like before it's cooked. Um, that's a lot of calories, but I eat it. I eat it all. I eat like take, takes me like an hour to eat the whole thing. But um, that's how I prefer to eat. I prefer to eat like one big meal and have like one smaller meal earlier in the day. And I feel like that just helps me with digestion and it helps me with like portion control. And I just don't get hungry if I eat this way. I know I need to eat, so I eat when I eat, but I don't really feel like hungry, which is amazing. Um, and I just, I just think it's just, it just feels like more natural to me to eat this way. So yeah, I eat a lot of starches. I like beans, I like rice, I like quinoa, I like millet, I like um rice noodles I like any kind of noodles sweet potato noodles um I'm trying to stay away from yeast and wheat right now so I'm experimenting with that um so I'm really trying to just eat like really whole foods and that means I can't eat really eat bread but I used to eat a lot of avocado toast that would be like another like breakfast type thing and I'm not really a huge snacker. So if I do snack, it's usually on just plain fruit. I buy a lot of grapes. Sometimes I just have grapes for breakfast. Sometimes I make a smoothie. Sometimes I just have grapes as a snack. Um, I also like oranges and mangoes. And I like eating frozen fruit by itself. Um, and yeah, so that's mostly what I eat. And I really love Dr. Gregor. So I try to get in his daily dozen that's why I do a lot of like ginger and turmeric in my smoothies and stuff. Um, I make myself like a nut milk with all like all these amazing superfoods in them. And I track my nutrients on on chronometer every now and then. Like I pick like one day a month where I eat like my typical type meals that I'm enjoying that month. So since the last time I checked on chronometer, and um, I uh, can figure out like what nutrients I'm sort of missing out on. And then in terms of supplements, I do take B12 and D3, a vegan D3. I do those in a spray. If you look at my Thrive Market haul, you'll see those supplements in there. That's really all I take. Um, sometimes I take like a probiotic pill, um, but that's 
if I just feel like I ate something weird the day before my digestion's kind of off, I just use that to sort of reset my digestion. Um, and I do have these like Ovega 3 pills. They're sort of like for Omega 3s, but I don't take that that often because I never remember to take pills. <laughs> but once I finish that bottle, I probably won't buy them again because I eat so many flax seeds and chia seeds and hemp seeds and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, once I can actually edit, I will put up some what I eat in a day videos and I'll do some more in-depth videos about how I've healed myself from various illnesses and how, um, even illnesses that I haven't experienced myself, like I'll do some research, um, and just compile a video for you. But Mike the Vegan and, um... Dr. Greger are two really good resources for figuring out how, like, if you want, like, a starting place for any kind of specific illness or kind of group of illnesses, like, they're really good resources for that kind of stuff. But I just want to share my experience um, healing myself with a vegan diet and how it's also helped me on my spiritual journey. So look out for more of that. Um, thanks so much for watching. And I'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye. Oh, if you like this, please subscribe. <laughs>